Hello everyone. I wanted to make a video showing how to set up Diablo 4 because I've had a few people ask me about this and it's actually a pretty easy process. I'm not using any sort of external launcher like Lutris or, or whatever. I'm just using Battle.net as a non-Steam game. And I think that's the easiest and most straightforward way of doing it. So that's how I'm going to show you how to do it here. So I'm on us.shop.battle.net and I'm just going to click download Battle.net and it's going to automatically start installing or downloading. Um, it'll take just a few seconds. So what we're going to do, you'll see that it is shown right here. We're going to go into Steam, go into our library, and we're going to go to add a game and then add a non-Steam game. We're going to go to browse going to go to downloads and click on this here click open and then add it's going to add the non-steam game right here next what we need to do is find a folder that you'll remember i just use documents because it's the easiest you're going to create a folder called battle.net and then one called diablo 4 then we're going to go to this here we're going to click the gear go to properties we're going to go to compatibility, check the box and make sure it says Proton Experimental. Then we're going to press play. Okay. Um, keep in mind, it's not going to have the mouse functioning at, at right at this point. So you're just going to use your finger. So just click continue. <coughs> Excuse me. It's going to download and update some stuff. Okay, um, we're going to uncheck this box here. I don't think this is necessary at all. And then we're going to change the installation directory. So you might you might be able to see this. Let me actually turn the brightness down so it's a little easier to see. Um, but you see where it says my computer? You're going to go there. Uh, it's a little hard using your finger, I will say. And you know, let me turn the brightness down a bit more because it's it's hard to see this. <clears throat> so go to the Z drive. You're going to expand that out. And then you'll see right here where it says home. Go ahead and click that. If my camera will correct itself there. Okay, home. And um, deck up there. And then this is basically our, our menu that we're familiar with. Uh, um, start kind of basic defaults installation paths so we're going to go to documents and then our, our battle nets folder which we created okay and then click select folder and then you're going to click continue and it is going to install battle net um, this might take a few minutes to, to go through so I will go ahead and skip through this part here and i'll show you what happens next all right guys so once your battle net installation is done it's going to bring you to the login page i want you to ignore that for now and go to your steam and go to add game and then add a non-steam game you're going to go to browse once more go to your desk or your documents or wherever your battle net folder is go to your folder and then you're going to add in battle.net launcher.exe um, I already have it here. You're going to go to the gear, properties, go to compatibility again, check the box, and select Proton 8. Then, to get logged in, you're actually going to go into, into game mode because there's like a glitch with using the keyboard in desktop mode when trying to log in on Battle.net for some reason. So, go into game mode. I'm not going to show this because it's just quick, but go into game mode log in or launch Battle.net uh, from your non-Steam games and log in. You'll, you won't have any issues doing it there. And then once everything loads up, once you're in this page on, on game mode, then go back into desktop mode um, because there's, there's an issue installing the game 
um, in game mode, in installing Diablo, I mean. So you're gonna go back to desktop mode and launch Battle.net again. And it should have all of your credentials set, set and everything. So you're just gonna go back in here and you're gonna go to your games, click this, and you're gonna click install. It's gonna ask you to change your, or select your, your installation here. So once again, we're gonna go to my computer listed right here. Go to the Z drive. Oh, it's, it's a challenge doing this, but Z drive and then home and then deck and then documents and then Diablo four. We'll select that. Um, I have it installed already, so I'm not going to reinstall it, but, um, uncheck, enable auto update. You don't need that. And then you don't need desktop shortcut either. Um, you know, let me just, um, go here. Let me select this. Oh, geez. Forgive me guys. Um, this is a pain in the butt deck documents we'll just do there for now um i just want to show you what this looks like so here's an option to choose for uh, high resolution assets if you want them it's not really necessary if you're playing on the steam deck because you're playing 720p anyway so it's not going to make a huge difference but if you want it if you plan on playing on a bigger screen or something then it might be beneficial um but you're just going to install this i'm not going to do it because like i said i have it installed already but once you do that it will bring it'll bring you back here and it'll show it's installing right there so um yeah that's basically the process you go through and then um let me hop back over to game mode and then i can just show you kind of how i customized my um my icon for this because i don't have a specific icon that directs to diablo 4 I basically just customized the Battle.net icon to look like Diablo 4 because in all reality, Diablo 4 is the only game I have on Battle.net, so I don't really need it to show anything else. Um, and it just looks better in my opinion. So we'll wait for it to go over to game mode again. Here's my launcher. Oh. Um, I have this plugin installed, the Steam Grid DB on Decky. I would highly recommend that. Just go here, change artwork. So we're gonna change the capsule. Oh, excuse me. First, what we wanna do is go to properties, change this so that Steam Grid knows what to look for. So we're gonna change this to Diablo for, oh, we don't need to browse that. Uh, make sure you're set 8.0 there. I think I already said that, but now if we go to change artwork, go ahead and select which one. I'm going to choose this one here. I'll say it has applied. Go to the wide capsule. We'll do this one. Go here. Basically just choose all of these just to make sure it looks like a legitimate game as if you bought it off Steam icon as well we'll do this one we'll restart later so now we have a nice looking icon which is pretty cool and it's mixed in with my non-steam games here so very cool if i just go in press play i'm gonna cover my login information that pops up whenever it chooses to there we go okay And then we'll go here. Um, we'll just click locate the game because I technically already have it installed. We'll go to my computer again, home, deck. Oops, I'll expand it from here. Battle.net, oh, Diablo, that's where we want. Um, hang on. 
Looks like in game mode I can actually use the mouse with with this, which is easy. It makes it a lot easier. Um, Diablo. I'm assuming it. Assuming there's a folder within that it wants me to look in. Yeah, right here. Hmm. I might just have to reinstall. I'm not sure what's going on there, but you get the idea. You can launch it from here, and it gives you a very nice looking. Um, icon and everything so it's I would recommend setting it up this way it's just a lot easier in my opinion um, you can try and mess around with with Lutris or Lutris whatever it's called or or other launchers um, but I just feel like this is a lot easier you don't have to deal with all that and you can still have your game listed here which I like at the end of the day so if you guys have any questions about this process let me know it's pretty easy but if you have questions please tell me in the comments happy to help out any way I can. If you have any other questions about unrelated topics, let me know. I'm happy to make tutorials on other things as well. But I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for watching. We'll see ya.